Hello everyone. On behalf of ADCI, I would like to thank you for watching our video. Today we're going to be getting you a little more familiar with our zip code boundary and point products. We're going to be exploring the Lake Winnebago area, as you can see the lake in the center of the map. When turning off the lake, you can see all of the zip codes labeled. Our first product is zip codes without water and without county. These represent zip code polygons that do not have water removed from them and do not have county lines incorporated into them. With all the following products, we have a zip point five product. As you can see, in some cases, there are two points for one polygon. The second point usually represents a large business or post office with its own unique postcode. The first point represents the postcode polygon itself. Our second product is zip codes without water and with county. These represent zip code polygons that do not have water removed from them but do have county lines in them. When opening up the attribute table for these, you can see we have a postcode number, the county name, as well as a FIPS code. Our third product is zip codes with water and without county. These represent zip code polygons that have water removed but do not have county lines in them. The last zip code boundary product we have is zip codes with water and with county. These represent zip code polygons that have water removed from them, as you can see Lake Winnebago is removed, and then do have county lines. These are in dark gray. The final additional product we have is zip plus four points. As you can see all the points on the map in the Lake Winnebago area. When zooming in on the Fox Valley area you can see all the points. These represent businesses, post offices, they're all nine digit postcodes that have a unique postcode. I would like to thank everyone for watching our video today, and please visit us at our website. Have a good day.